Okay, good morning class. Um, once again, I'm going to go over a project for you um, that is due for Social Work 300. And you'll be working with uh, secondary data using the Louisiana Slave Database, which is a database that I found quite by accident on the internet. But it's very useful um, for uh, practice learning how to use SPSS. I'm not going to read all of the slides uh, word for word. I will place a copy of this PowerPoint presentation into Blackboard for you. Um, also, of course, I'm sure you realize that um, because you are seeing this as a movie file, you can pause or rewind as needed. One of the things you need to do first is download the required readings about the slave database. So get a better, so you'll get a better idea of what this database, the information that this database contains. Make sure you download the code book, print this, and put it in your notebook because you're going to need to refer to it. And then when you're in the social work computer lab, you can download the actual slave database in um, a SPSS.DAT file. Um, and I will probably review that in class or at this time you probably know how to do it. So you'll be fine. Um, these databases uh, describe an individual slave, um, primarily in the Louisiana area. It's a good tool for researchers, those of you who are history majors. Um, you might find some usefulness uh, for this particular assignment for your other classes in, you know, writing papers. Obviously, don't write the same paper that you did for me, but there's definitely enough information in the database that you could um, just write volumes on uh, the information contained. The database is useful, I think, in terms of historical research and interpretation of what was happening with slavery um, in the Louisiana, in the southern area of the country. Um, once again, let me reiterate, make sure you download the database. And you will be using a format that's in your textbook. Actually, you're using a format that's used for annotated graphs. Uh, to communicate your findings from the variables that you're going to utilize. A couple of notes. Um, since this database is very large, uh, you need to be patient when you're running the data. Sometimes you need to look in the lower left hand corner of your screen and SPSS will tell you that it's either processing data or the command that you told it to do. It's running your frequencies, etc., cross tabs or whatever, or SPSS processor is ready. You will create charts for this assignment um, using a chart, the charting feature tool in SPSS, and you are only to use SPSS to create charts for this assignment. How will I know? Because they look very different from other charts. Make sure you download, download the code book and read it in order to run the variables that you need, otherwise the variables will be meaningless to you. Um, in the original instructions, it suggests that you select from any of the five following, but I've actually changed this around a little bit. You're going to actually create a code book of the following variables um, that are here. Now, if any of these variables have more than seven values, then you need to recode the variable. And recoding is all in your textbook. That way, say for example, something like skill group, you see the value label, you see your frequency, your percentages, it even tells you how many cases are missing and how many are valid. And this is sort of what your bar chart would look like for this assignment, but this is just an example. Make sure you include the correct titles, legend, and source. This is just some extra information. You'll see this in the um, um, PowerPoint. Okay, assignment instructions, read, download, create your code book, create your five graphs, write interpretive and descriptive paragraphs, turn in your paper, APA style, include one map of one African country or origin, and include a PDF of all syntax and output files. And as you can see here, I found a really good map. This format is in your book. Um, these other two slides on manumission, and you can read it at your leisure. We won't be doing this assignment this semester, um, although you might see it on a quiz. And of course, this is one of the most famous uh, slate pictures. Remember, see me if you have any questions. Thank you.